Prince Edward, the Queen's youngest child, revealed his struggle with royal duties in a throwback interview, insisting there was no instruction whatsoever from his parents. The Earl of Wessex was speaking to Sky News' Rhiannon Mills about Queen Elizabeth II before her 90th birthday, alongside his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex. He recalled the first time he ever had to conduct a walkabout, referring to the awful realization that he was going to have to walk through the crowd of people. Edward insisted that the only advice he got was not to shake anyone's hands. The Earl said, I remember vividly the awful realization that we were going to have to walk through this corridor of people because the cars, I couldn't even see the cars, they were around the corner, and our parents just set off and started talking to people. And I thought, well, I can either walk down the middle like a complete lemon or... I think my brother was there as well, so we said, you go that side, I'll go this side, but there was no instruction whatsoever. I think the only piece of advice I was given was, don't treat it like a receiving line, so don't start shaking hands, because once you have shaken one person's hand you are completely stuck, you have to shake everyone's hand. However, he said that being in the car behind the Queen when she is out and about is where you can have a great time. The Earl and Countess revealed how they love to watch people's reactions and Sophie even admitted sneakily opening the window of the car to hear them as well. Edward said, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best entertainments is being in the car behind the Queen's car, because that's when you see all the reactions, especially in places where they're not expecting to see the Queen, that's even better. Then Sophie chimed in, and we opened the window just a little bit so we can hear what people are saying. Born in 1964, Edward is 15 years younger than Charles, 13 years younger than Anne and 4 years younger than Andrew. He explained that growing up in the royal household, that's just what your parents do, so he does not recall having a realization of how significant a role his mother played in national life. However, he finds it interesting watching his own children, Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Severn, coming to grips with it. According to Sophie, Louise had no concept that her grandmother and the Queen were the same person until other children at school started mentioning it. The Countess told the adorable story about how her daughter came home from school asking about it and saying, I don't understand what they mean. Discussing the relationship Louise and James have with the Queen, Sophie said she considers them to be more fortunate than other royal grandchildren, because they live closer and can see her more often. She said, I think having those times together in the summer allows those relationships. I mean, we're a lot more fortunate because we live so much closer to the Queen. So when she spends a lot of time in Windsor at weekends our children are more fortunate, because they can go over and have tea with her on a regular basis. So we do see quite a lot of her and we're over there most weekends riding, so she sees quite a lot of us. Lucky her. While entitled to the title Royal Highness, Louise and James have been styled as children of an Earl rather than a Prince or Princess. Perhaps due to this, they do not undertake many royal engagements. That said, in April 2015 they accompanied their parents on a trip to South Africa and last year Louise, 15, accompanied her mother on a few UK royal engagements.